we're going to take a look at uh, with a software instrument here. We're going to take a look at Ultra Beat. Now we can again use the library. I love the patches that they put up for us, so we can go through and look at different stuff. So different drum machines and bringing those open, multi-output, so we're going to be able to see the, the, the stack. We'll have the kick, we'll have the snare and everything going with that as well. Go into my mixer here, look at all, and I can bring up uh, uh, Ultra Beat when I'm inside here. Where are you at, Ultra Beat track? Let's get over here. And when I bring up uh, Ultra Beat here, and in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back a step and just make this really simple for some folks. I'm going to make one more track. Software instrument. And instead of using the library, I'm going to go in right from our root list. I want to start showing us again, where can we get this, just the core instrument if you want to start making your own patches. Well, I'm going to go in here and just use a simple stereo Ultra Beat. It's the way a lot of people like to start. And this brings up the drum synthesizer Ultra Beat, which I want to tell you, it's just like the other synths we were looking at before as far as we can play it. So if I wanted to go down another octave, I could just start playing. And why is it going? There we go. Kick and snare. So we can definitely just use this as a sound source. It's got its own little synth engine or sample player and EQ and all that kind of stuff for each individual drum, so kicks and snares and stuff like that. But what we have just enough time for me to show you here is the way, again, that I started working uh, with programming out of UltraBeat, which is to go down on the front face to a little button down here that says Full View. And what that's going to do is show you their patterns. Now, it's got its own sequencer built into it. I'm going to hit Power and Play, and we can see what their idea of some of these sequences are. I've got a little button down here next to a word pattern that says sequence and I can roll through. I can actually play the notes on the keyboard over here, C, C sharp, and see it change from different patterns. But I know, I've heard from people, what they want are not stock sounds. Again, the idea of customizing their songs, creating their own stuff. So what I do is go in into here to the first available, which is gonna be on the A1 key or the 10th sequence. I see this full view is blank. What we're looking at, because I know it's kind of hard to see, but we have here in blue listed next to a computer keyboard, the instruments. Kick, I can actually click on them right here. Snare. And what we have here is you see the cursor moving through it. So if I was to go through, it's just a little spot where I can start clicking in some stuff. And we'll hear a kick. If I went in here and we did a snare someplace. Do the snare. Okay, so I can start going through and just programming the ones I want. But they've made it so easy and fast. Again, we need to quickly make a beat. So what I'm going to do is a bit of some control clicking in here and get this cool list. So I'm going to do every downbeat on the kick drum. I can maybe do every upbeat on the snare. And then maybe I'll go in and get rid of some of them. Go into some hi-hat stuff. And instead of going and just doing, let me grab this one I'm looking for here, pedal hat. And maybe what I can do is just put in every upbeat, but then go back on it again and say, alter existing randomly. And you start getting these different patterns being built right away, just with some, normally it's right click on my mouse, but I've got it set up right now that I'm doing control click, either will work. So if you're on the laptop, control, uh, control clicking on these different lanes, we'll get those things in for you. Again, dropping in stuff wherever you want them. At the bottom, we're gonna see for that lane, some velocities or how loud it is. And you start filling stuff. Our machine's always going to be playing along with our tempo. And now, once we get a pattern that we like, normally we'd spend a little bit more time on it, but this is what we've got. I go back over here to where I said I was picking my sequences. Rather than playing a note to trigger them, which we could do, I'm going to grab the little button next to the word pattern. I'm going to drag that over onto my track. 
And that brings over, I've just created a MIDI region. So instead of using a controller, I'm gonna hit stop and power on the sequencer. Instead of using the controller to record and try, you saw how much I was struggling there to try to get stuff in time. Now what I've got is my own little region over here that's gonna play through the ultra beat. When I get back into here, I've got the loop tool and now I can go to the beginning. And I've got my new pattern. Where was the pattern button? Pattern button, let me make this a little bit bigger for us and not quite that big. And when we look here, if you see down here, it said pattern. Got it, yeah. Right over there, when you hover over it, luckily it gives us a little thing that says drag to arrange window, which it's talking about the main area. It used to be called the arrange window. And we can pull it over. Right to the right of that was where we had the different sequences and what key on the keyboard was associated with them. 